I cannot say I wasn't a part, I wasn't a part of whatever is happening today on your side. And I cannot say I was not a part of the decision that created this. I can only say I noticed the communication gap. I cannot say that you are enemies of progress or the president of this country. Let's get, get back a little bit. We are aware of seeming division. Well, conflict and conflict resolution mechanism is there in every politics. If there is no com conflict and conflict uh, 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 system, there is no politics. Starting from the Roman Empire, the Senate that went against Julius Caesar in Rome were elected representatives of the people. They had their conflict. But history of democracy cannot be written without. Those conflict and institutionalized mechanism to resolve them. Today, we came in to appeal to you. And go back to history. We work really hard since early 90s to bring Nigeria on progressive path. For me, ideologically, progressive governance is what we are all about. And progressive governance means inclusiveness, the welfare of the people, the progress of a nation that depend upon the acceptance of the people, government of the people, by the people, and for the people, as defined in democratic value. Mr. President, the former president, our senators, only to make clear that you are not the enemy and you will never be the enemy of God that is progressing. We've worked hard years back. Then look at history. How many years ago we've had oil? And what is the result of that oil discovery as a mineral resources of this country? Let's look at budget after budget since 1980. Yes, we build refineries, we have refineries. Is that revenue serving our people today? No. Why? A reason will be given government after government. Turnaround maintenance, vandalization, malice dancing, every excuse. Is it benefiting the public? Is it getting to the school and the poses of the of millions? When Nigerian will remain poor? When? 
Why should we continue problem after problem, conflict after conflict, uh, conflict continue to, to do the same thing over and over again? The prescription, whether it's medical or policy, of 1980s till now, is an exp if you make a drug in 1985, can you use it for anything? It's an expired drug by now. Isn't it? So expired ideology, we must try new things. I'm here to appeal to you to understand that whatever you are doing now, and whatever this government is doing, led by Buhari's administration, which involved myself and yourself, without you, without your support, without your participation, we couldn't have won the election. Now we have won the election. We now look at ourselves, can we manage the victory? Can we use the success to make those changes? Then if change is our slogan, are we collaborating and cooperating to make those changes for the benefit of the people? The positive change that we believe in, the progressive change that can work. We, we know the history of the world. Part of what I would want you to collaborate with me, which I know we have a very good, very, very good and responsive minister for education, is to be able to continue to introduce this, by the way, we must introduce history. And the senators must hear this. They can embark upon the bill. Initiate the bill immediately. Because what is not clear in this country is because political history of the nation is not being taught in the classroom anymore. But we cut this, we cross this bridge, we put this bridge together for the progressives, not on tribe, not on dialect, because we have a common vision to make progress in this country. Yes, suddenly there was little uh, no communication to really change the policy, the mono policy of the oil prices. But in good conscience, many of you who are part and parcel of the new labor movement, it's not about cheap oil, it's about progress and disposable income that we ameliorate the suffering of the people. If that is the case, year after year, they say the language of subsidy, subsidy and what, and who are the beneficiaries? of petroleum product via vehicles. Who are the beneficiaries? Marketers who use the lack of one thing or the other, including foreign exchange, the lack of payment in time, uh, uh, lack of uh, regular supplies, subsidy, variation, interest rates. What are we doing? 
We are shipping our labor and our money and our opportunity and the byproduct to overseas. To the benefit of non-Nigerians. If that is the method we have been using since 1985, 1986, 90, or years before it, that method needs a change. It has expired. Let's try new things, is what we are talking about. Why are we saying three or four refineries in the face of increasing population, vehicular velocity, availability, not equal. We are growing day by day in population. We are trying to educate our children not to suffer the same problem that we suffer. We want to correct their future. We want to guarantee their future. My guarantee that this government is a government of honesty and integrity. Whatever is the anger, we must apply anger management. Whatever is the different, I appeal to you. Let's go back to the negotiating table. Let's call off this strike. It is not done on the streets. You saw him when, uh, when I saw him on TV again, I said, look at him, look at him. <laughs> when I saw Fashino, I, 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 okay, again. Yes, it's good to force out your differences. We are in democracy, we are in, in freedom. But you will end up negotiating and agreeing with one another. I want to appeal to you and come to bed. Not as a bride. I come on behalf of my party. I come on behalf of our government. It's our collective government. APC is for progress. APC is for change. Those positive change that you channel the economy and our country on the path of greatness. This is the largest economy in Africa and we can compete much, much better than India. Let's look at those periods. Let's educate our people. Please. That is my submission.